morning everyone. So I'm starting the video off once again from our beach hut here in Palolem Beach. As I mentioned yesterday, we're going to be doing um, a river cruise. There's a little river here that apparently the guy uh, feeds eagles with chicken. I think it's 800 rupees for me and Carol, a private boat tour. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal. I think it's supposed to last around an hour, I'm not sure. And then after that, we'll probably go and check out some other new beaches that we haven't been to yet. So yeah, that's roughly the plan for today. Look guys, it's the same dog, three days in a row. He loves Carol. <laughs> We're taking the dog with us on the, on the river trip. Both of them. Oh no, three of them. What's going on? Four of them. <laughs> All right, ladies first. That side? Look that way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, sit. How many years you do this? How many years? Twenty. Uh, Twenty years? Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> What food is it? Chicken. Chicken. Yeah, so guys, we're gonna feed the eagles now. Check this out. Whoa. <laughs> wow, so many. Ever seen that many eagles before? <laughs> I'm not even sure if I've ever seen two or three before. Good catching. Yeah, very good catching. I think there's about 30 or 40. <laughs> See another eagle right there in the tree. Oh no, there's a few of them, loads. Black, brown, white, white, brown, black, brown. Yeah, yeah different colors. Yeah, so a very cool experience. Right now we're going through the the mangroves there. Loads of different trees, loads of birds everywhere here. I think it's only us, right, on the river. Yes. Yeah, we saw some people going back, but on our way here, it seems to be only us, so yeah, pretty awesome.
back now. That was pretty awesome. Probably took about an hour, but definitely worth it. People even kayak down the river. The boat doesn't go that far. Yeah, definitely for the eagle experience, it was worth it. The guy did say we'd see a lot of eagles. I didn't realize we'd see that many, but yeah, just awesome. So hot now, so I think we're gonna head to another beach. Not not the one in Palolem. I think we're gonna head to one called Agonda, a new beach. So yeah, we should be heading there soon. We have arrived in the village of Agonda. So you probably saw from those last shots, we got the bus. That's how we've been traveling around Goa. It's a little bit harder here. Some people have told me that we definitely need a scooter. And yeah, it would be easier, but we've been getting by on buses anyway. There's no AC, so yeah, it's usually a bit of a sweaty journey. That one cost us 15 rupees per person. So it has been super cheap going around Goa by bus, but yeah, it's um, obviously a more time consuming. And this place, look at look how beautiful everything looks here as well. Always this jungle kind of scenery, tropical scenery here in, here in Goa, everywhere we go. And I think now we just gotta walk about five minutes to the beach and we'll see how Agonda Beach is. Guys, check out this baby cow, chilling. <laughs> Cutest little cow ever. <laughs> I think that's the smallest cow we've seen on a beach, right? It looks like Bambi. Bambi, yeah, it looks it's like not a cow, but... it. It looks like a deer. Yeah. <laughs> Made a new friend already. I think Goa is the place that we've made the most friends with dogs. Yeah. <laughs> They're so friendly everywhere. Everywhere, super friendly. <laughs> Alright, so here is the beach, Agonda Beach. A lot nicer than I expected. Seems to be the whitest sand we've seen so far in Goa. There isn't that many people here at all compared to other beaches that we've been to. Behind it's similar to Palolem, where it's just loads of coconut trees. You have the little beach huts and restaurants, which is always awesome. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Carol's already in the water there, so I think I'm gonna join her. So the sea in Goa has just been too good. I think I mentioned it in another video that the temperature is just perfect. It's that kind of sea that you can just spend hours and hours in. You don't want to leave, but yeah, it's just an awesome temperature. And the water here is actually the clearest that we've seen in Goa so far. It's not really that brown, gray, murky, it's quite clear. And the cows also agree with me that this is a, an awesome beach. This is the, the beach that the cows come to. <laughs> Yeah. 
can see here all the cow hooves, the footprints of the cows. <laughs> I think there's more cows here than humans. Yeah. <laughs> Check out these cool beach huts here. They look a lot fancier than the one that we're staying in. I imagine they're more expensive. But yeah, what a view. Got a very angry dog. What's up? Hey, chill out. I think we're gonna go to this little restaurant here on the beach. Agonda Diva. So this place has lots of different options. Seafood, which is very popular in Goa. They also eat a lot of chicken around here. Even has Mexican, check that out. Enchiladas, burritos and tacos. Got Indian bread and rice options here. Non-veggie options. But I think I'm going for the Indian veggie option and dal palak, which is lentils and spinach for 240, I think. And Carol got the palak paneer, spinach and cottage cheese, seasoned with garlic and spices for 250. And then on the next page, we also got a plain rice for 100 and a potato filled paratha for 100 also. So we got the food now some pretty fancy containers so this is the the dal the lentils i got yellow lentils and then you got the palak paneer there and the rest so looks pretty good This is as far as we're coming. Really nice part though with the rocks and the hill in the back. Over the other side of the hill is actually Palolem. A bit further down there so yeah just to give you an idea Palolem is more south from Agonda. Just like Palolem the tide goes really low here as well so you probably wouldn't see all these rocks during the day. Quite a few people swimming over there though. A very peaceful day. Back at our guest house now, so that's it for today's video. In tomorrow's video, I think we're going to be heading to a place called Butterfly Beach. Some of you guys commented about that beach, and I've heard it's a really secluded beach. All the beaches here are already, yeah, pretty empty and relaxed already, so I'm not sure what a secluded beach is going to be like. I guess, yeah, there ain't going to be that many people there at all. So that's what's coming up next. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just drop a like on it to support us. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.